Dumela Kazi, welcome back to Gossip Cafe. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, Sabi, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. So since the Mgozi is not Mgozi at this point of time, I'm going to tell you a story that happened to me. So it is a true story. It is not something that is added, Amanorox, um, spices and all of those things. It is a true story. Happened to me right and um i i, I kind of don't like to tell this story because it's embarrassing but obviously i'm gonna tell you today this is the first time that i actually tell this story on a public domain right so i'm gonna tell you how i almost got hijacked actually i was two seconds two seconds getting hijacked right so if you want to hear more about this story please do stick around your legs get something to drink and um, let's get into it so it is around about i think 2020 or 2021 i'm not really ex exactly sure um, about the time frame but it was um, after the lockdown was relaxed a bit and we were able to go out like we were able to go and drink in um, in the pubs taverns clubs or whatever like that so I've got friends in Fuleni. So if you don't know where Fuleni is, Fuleni in Cape Town, it is a township in Cape Town. It is a bit far from me because I live in the West Coast. So um, it is a bit far from me. So it's, it's quite a travel for me. So normally I do go once in a while because I've got friends there. Actually, they are almost like my brothers because we come from the same um, village in Stexbridge in the Eastern Cape, right? So normally I go there, especially when I want to go out, like out in the like the like I want in Gudu and that vibe of Ikasi vibe and stuff like that. Because obviously I grew up in the villages and we only knew it happens. We did not have any clubs. So the only thing that I do here in Cape Town and especially where I stay, the only closest thing, it is a club. And most of the times I want tavern. I don't want clubs. I don't want to be carrying a, 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 a glass for 100 rands of a castle light. Like, I want in good to for 25 rands and stuff like that. Nah, like, yeah, 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 what you call this? Yeah, black label and stuff like that. Like, that day, I'm like, okay, we had a car here. It was a Mazda. I forgot a Mazda something sedan, right? But this car, it was a second-hand car. It was an old car, but it, it, it looked good. For, 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 for being a second hand. It, it looked really good. It was one of the business um, car. It was one of our business car, but it was not branded at all. So I'm, uh, I'm like, okay, today I'm, I'm just going to use this car because I want to go to Mfuleni and I want to get sloshed in Mfuleni. I want to get, I want to have fun, right? Hey, Pisana, I'm so happy. I'm fine. I'm like, woo. And then I, donga, I poshonged myself. That's poshonga, that's it. And then I looked good, right? I smelled good. I just remember the day. And I was so excited because we were on lockdown for a long time. And then now we are able to go to party and stuff like that. What? I was like, what? And then I call my friends. Hi, Tommy. I'm coming. And all of those things. And they are excited. And then I, I go. I go to pick and pay, then I buy some couple of, of beers, and then I drive to Mfuleni. Hmm. Then Mfuleni, we decide to go to Kwazwai. There's this place that is banging in Mfuleni called Kwazwai. Kumandi, it's very nice there. Mm -hmm. Mind you, um, at that time, after the relaxed lockdown rules, um, you were not supposed, the tavern was supposed to close at 11 or something like that, 11 or 12, somewhere, some, somewhere somehow. Um, fine. We say, okay, we're going to go to Ekwazwai. And, um, and Kwazwai was not that far from our house. But then I said, no, I don't want to walk. I want to drive. Fine. My friends say, okay, cool. And I said, I'm not going to drink that much anyway. I just want the vibe. Like, I want the vibe. Hey, Safika Kwazwai Chong. We got Kwazwai and then it was so nice. It was, hey man, everything was just, that day, everything was just heaven. Like everything was just, we were in Mesikwa Satan. Like it was so super nice that I was like, yo, guys, after this one, we need to go to another place that was called Hillbro. But that place is like in, 
it's it's somewhere so it's not easy to access the police don't really know about the place i think or they do know but it's not really a place that they could go and and close the place we said okay after this one we're going qua qua into an um uh, what you call this place a hill bro fine hi right? It's nice. It's all of those things. And the tavern initiates to close because it's almost 11. Obviously, they're supposed to close. Fine. They, 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 switch on, they switch off the music. When they switch off the music, no one wanted to go out. And at that time, actually, it was, it was rainy. It was a rainy day. Like, it, it became cold and a bit rainy. And no one wanted to go out. And people started singing. Without music, they started singing. And we still have alcohol. There's a lot of alcohol. We're still drinking. We're still having fun. And all of those things. Chikiriri, 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 chomi. Because they closed the gates, right? So that the police wouldn't notice that there are people inside. But then there's other people outside who are singing and they want to get in. But then now, there's a knock at the gate. And then everybody was like... I'm a Johnny, I'm a Johnny soldiers. I'm a Johnny, I'm a Johnny, I'm a police. And do, 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 do. Hi. Then they start um, spraying it, I guess, inside. And everybody wanted to go out. Now at the door, the soldiers and the police are at the door. And they're searching everybody. You're not supposed to go out with any alcohol, Kesana. You're not supposed to go out with any alcohol. If you've got 10 beers, you will have to leave them where they are. Because it clap, they kick you, they clap, they do everything fine apparently obviously i think the owner told the police that we don't want to leave the place so we have to be forcefully removed from the place because obviously he will get in trouble if um he allows us to sit in there past the 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 the, the, the time that he's supposed to close I get at the door, everybody is getting searched, everybody is getting searched, and um, if you've got alcohol on your hand, in your hand, they throw it or they break it or something, like you even get a clap, like, <laughs> we've been through a lot as South Africans, we've been through a lot, I find... And then it, it is my turn. And I can see that, hey, these guys are so rough. Outside, it's full of police cars, full of military cars. Like, everybody is doing kupiz, man, kupiz, 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 yo. And then, then it's my turn. And I'm like, and then there's this, this, this military guy who was cute standing with a, with a lady there. Then I go out. I'm, I'm having alcohol, Kem Nike. I saw that alcohol is getting broken and all of those things. But I said, mm -mm, not with my alcohol. I've got in good to hear. I was drinking Castle Light. I've got in good to say Castle Light. I'm, I'm carrying good to say Castle Light. And then I get to, to the door to be searched. And I'm like, no, I don't want to be touched. I don't want to be touched. And this cute lady who was standing with this cute guy over there who were military bless their soul they're like no 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 don't don't touch with tommy don't touch. leave tommy's tommy's um alcohol please don't touch with tommy and then i'm going out after that i'm like ah tommy thank you son. then i'm running da, 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 going to the car my friends are still in, in inside my friends are scared of going out with a bit of alcohol that they have but i've got here my alcohol that i got my dear I've got the alcohol that I got out with and I was not searched at all. I get my friends are coming out. They are shouting that they don't have the alcohol. They got searched. Why am I not getting searched and all of those things? I'm saying, ah, Tommy, Sana, you're not me. Not me. I'm like, not me. I'm the queen. I'm the queen. I get, when we get into the car, we say, okay, guys. So now we're going to go to a... Um, this place, a, a Hillbro. Hillbro, guys, let me tell you about Hillbro. Hillbro is more than Kwamai Mai. Hillbro is crazy. So, this is how Hillbro is. is. There's a shack this side, which is where things are happening. Everything is happening. Then there's a road in between and then there's a house here. So, this side, they are selling like ama sweets, like chips and all of those things. And there's a pool table. And this side, there's a stage, there's everything. You're dancing there. There's also a pool table. It's a shack. It's a big shack. I think it has um, three or four sections where you can just dance. And one section has got a pool table. Ah, 
the, that's hill bro it's a bit shady and darkish but like you groove there midnight from midnight until tomorrow morning at 10 a.m you were grooving you've been grooving and when you go to the side this um how this brick house this side next to um opposite um the the shack it's a different music when you go this side it's a different music i'm telling you in the middle of the road there's another music that you don't even know where it comes from tell me i'm, I'm telling you the truth at the moment i'm telling you the truth like if you don't understand this cosa like like it's very nice and then I and um because I'm driving this car, this car is a 2002 model, this um Volvo 2002 model. So it doesn't switch on the lights automatically, right? So it doesn't switch the light automatically. I'm used to because that's what I, I the f- that's the first thing that I I mean the car that I'm driving each and every day, the lights are switching on automatically. This is auto cars in now when you buy these new cars they come with with it it's a standard thing that the 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 headlights are coming on right these led lights are coming on fine and um so i'm driving the lights are not on and i'm a bit tipsy i'm driving i'm driving i'm driving slow i'm not even i'm not even speeding because it's the road is busy people are still running away from the soldiers and the police and all of those things and people are drunk so i'm like i'm just gonna drive slow because i don't want to cause any accidents i don't want to to bump into people that are running here right no we're driving and then there's an intersection this intersection is a bit shady it's darkish um the lights are on the street lights are on but they are not that bright fine Hi man, now, Chomi, what is going on? Then there's a, a, a quantum in front of us with dark windows. So it just stopped in front of us. Fine. Now, I stop behind. Then the next thing, this quantum reverses. When it reverses, I, 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 I hit the, the horn. Like, poop, 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 poop. It reverses and then it bumps on my boot. Like, it bumps up a bonnet on my bonnet with the back. Nah, but what is going on? My friends are screaming and all of those things. Nah, fine. Hey, man, what is going on? Now these guys are coming out. I think in this taxi, there were about six or seven guys. So two guys are coming out of this taxi. The other one is coming to my side and the other one is coming to my friend's side. Now, I, now I'm like lost. I don't know what's going on. Like, I don't think I, I didn't. There was nothing that clicks that you are getting hijacked or anything like that. Now I'm like lost. My my friend who's sitting here says, "Don't open the window." I'm saying, "Chomi, I need to open the window because now this is like an accident, and I need to open a case, obviously, for insurance and all of those things." Um, luckily the car was not damaged. The bump was not that much. It was like, it was a small scratch, something like a dent, like, like a dent, like that you can make it straight again or something like that. I mean, it was a 2002 Volvo. So at that time it was not a fiberglass. It was a real thing. It was a metal car, right? So, hey, Tommy. <laughs> so, Tommy, yes, I was tipsy. Don't drink and drive, Tommy. Don't drink and drive. And um, that was my first and last time that I actually um was drinking and driving okay the guys come out and the the other one i opened the window this side zzz, at least the 2002 model had the electric window so zzz, the window goes up and this guy is shouting that what are you doing driving without lights and all of those things you see now i didn't see you when i was reversing and all of those things and i'm saying guy i am actually hooting I am actually blowing my horn to the max and you you telling me that you cannot hear me that means you are also at at at, at fault here because you were not listening to 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 the to the other things that are happening around you when you're driving you should listen to the other things that are are, are happening around you this guy was like a furious guy this guy wanted to actually actually be physical with me so i'm getting out of the car he says that get out of the car get out of the car because we need to take the car we need to take this car and um so that you can pay us because you damaged the our taxi and stuff like that so this quantum had a dent at the back and i don't think the dent was caused by my car at that time the dent was already there they were just um trying their luck so i'm getting out of the car and we are we are there and talking and my friends are, are, are trying to calm me down as well on my side because they can see this guy is trying to do something to me 
and um this guy had a gun actually on 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 his side like this so he kept on like he kept on moving like this moving this thing like this so that i can i can see the gun and i al already saw the gun before he even that it did that because i scanned the guy when he was coming out of the car and i could see that this guy has got a, a gun but then I, I i said to me maybe it's normal for a taxi driver to have a gun or a taxi owner or something like that because i didn't really it didn't really click to me that i'm getting um robbed or i'm getting um hijacked here i then we go, uh, we go closer to the taxi. Then I see that inside the taxi, there's still a lot of people inside. And these people are, are, are pushing this one, this one, that he must do that. He must do that. He must do this. So this guy was still talking and talking. The other one is there. The other one now, he is already in the car. He went in the car. My friend is at the back now, at the back of the car. The other friend is like showing the face on the window is like chomi no come back chomi and stuff like that let's report this to the police and all of those things and these guys don't want to budge they say we're taking the car give us the key and i'm refusing to give the key i'm refusing i'm like no i'm not giving you the key we need to go and open a case so that my insurance can do something if i was at fault so or if your it was your fault then my your insurance has to pay me and all of those things i'm like there is nothing you're not doing anything i'm not giving you my key then when i was busy when we were busy going all crazy and this guy wants to to hit me and stuff like that then three police car and i'm like police car i'm like yes yes i'm like stop please stop the police stops and then we tell the story after telling the story the police said okay we're going to do a convoy we go into the police station right so when the police are initiating this convoy this guy who was driving the taxi um says to this other one who's sitting on the passenger side you're not gonna go go get out of that passenger side you're going to be with these guys inside because they're going to run away if no one is in in them right so the police car is in front and we are in the middle the taxi is coming behind me and then we do the convoy we do the convoy at the day i never knew where in fulani police station was at all even today, I'm not going to tell you where Fulane Police Station is because it was at night, it was dark, it was rainy. Um, it was just a chaotic day, day for me. Fine, we go. We get to the police station. When we got to the police station, before we get to the police station, how can I forget this part? Because this is the cherry on top. So when we are driving, because we are driving slow and I don't know the police station and it, it looks like it's far from where we were. When this guy who's sitting here, the hijacker number two, sitting here, is drinking. I think he was drinking reds or something like that. And he's, he's also holding something as well on, on, on the other hand. On the other hand, he's drinking reds. Fine. Now, I feel like I'm so dry because I've been talking and talking with this guy. And I'm, the shock is coming, I think, at that time. The shock is coming. I still still it's like this it's like i i don't have a clue what's going on i think it's just i thought it was still the accident problem for me it doesn't click that hey you were about to get hijacked fine so we are driving and this guy is drinking and i'm so dry i'm so dry and i'm like um chomi I'm, I'm i'm asking this guy here chomi can you can you give me a sip can you give me something to drink because i need to drink i'm dry this guy is like looking at me like i won't find it yes friend i'm at the back my friend is saying no chomi we've got our beers i even forgot that i've got beers that i actually got from was why the ones that were not crashed by police and soldiers i still have them at the back seat fine chomi says no chomi we've got enough alcohol here don't ask that guy to drink and we we also have got water in here so rather drink water because we go into the police station right because now it will be like you were drinking and driving and stuff like that fine nandito okay chomi chomi gives me the drinks this guy is still shocked like how can this guy ask me for a beer he doesn't even know me and stuff like that you are in my car and now i want something to drink you're going to give me something to drink otherwise i'm opening the door and kick you out of my car <laughs> i'm kidding fine 
Like, we get to the police station, Tommy. When we get to the police station, we get in. When we get in, I think the lights, when the lights in the police station were hitting me, and it's, it's not LED lights, it's these warm lights. So I feel... At that time, I just got drunk. Like, everything was, like, so hot. I felt so drunk. I couldn't even speak. I couldn't even tell the guys my name. I tried and tried. And I was, like, so, so drunk. Like, um, statement, statement, statement. Um, and there's this police police lady who was at the uh, behind. So now, because, um, obviously, they're speaking closer. And I, I, I can speak closer. But at that time... English, you told me, like, when you are drunk, there's nothing super nice than speaking English when you are drunk. So I'm drunk, I'm speaking English. So my friend is like, yeah, no, this, this, this guy is not from here. Um, he is from, um, he is from the suburbs, he's from the barbs, you know, people like to do that. No, this guy is not from here, he's from the barbs, and um, he will struggle speaking your language, that's why he speaks English, and blah, 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 and whatever, and I'm like, huh? <laughs> I'm like, yo, Chomi, what is going on? I get, this police lady takes my statement, and I'm trying my, by all means to speak, but... The jinx is the other guy because now the police are saying this other lady is saying um so the the other guy says that your your headlights were not on. I'm saying yes, I forgot because the car that I'm driving normally um the lights are automatically so uh, automatic. So on this car I forgot that you need to switch on the lights and it was not even a long drive that I drove until this happens, right? Um, now I'm able to speak a bit and I am super, I'm still drunk. I cannot even stand straight. I, uh, this, this, this police lady was so patient with me. This police lady just, I, I, I just, I, I, I can't. Like if I would see her because I don't even remember her face, I would say thank you so much for, 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 for actually caring because she was really caring. Um, so now the lady asked now, at the front desk, there's a lot of police. And we are the only people here who actually came for this case nonsense. So, in front is a lot of police. And they are listening to this one. They are listening to that one. My friends are talking there. And they are also drunk. And these people were trying to hijack us. It's just a commotion. So, the lady is asking, hey, where the street lights working where, we, where you guys were? Um, then we say, yes, the street lights were working. Then this, this police lady said, okay, no, then there is nothing I can do. There's nothing I can say here. They were not wrong. You, you heard that he said he pressed the horn and also pressed the emergency lights. Where now you decided to reverse onto him. And why were you reversing on an intersection? Because that was a stop sign and you decided to reverse on an intersection where you were not supposed to or to actually do that. You were supposed to do a U-turn somewhere in order for you to be able to go wherever you were going. Right? So now when this lady is saying that these guys are starting to be crazy. They get crazy and they started um they started um Throwing all the homophobic slurs and all of those things, the morphe, and these, this police lady was a no nonsense. And I was like, you know what? You need to get the fuck out of this police station if you are going to be the one who's actually making the law. Because right now, I'm a police and I'm telling you that this guy was actually, actually did every means in order for you to see him when you were reversing. So you get the hell out of here. I took your statements and stuff like that. Anything else afterwards, it is up to you. You will contact him tomorrow when everything is fine, when everyone is sober, and then you actually arrange on how you actually fix his dent, right? Or if, that's, if that is the case for you, you can also speak to your lawyer so that you can go to court and fight for your money, right? If you're saying this guy was actually the one who actually bumped, who actually um, was wrong when you were reversing this guy here, which is me, was wrong. If you think that is the case, speak to your lawyer, go to court and get your money from this guy. And this guy says that he doesn't, he doesn't mind. For me, on my side, I was like, no, I'm going to speak to my lawyer as well because we need to go to court. I was not wrong. I did an emergency light. I pressed the horn and you were not supposed to, to, to reverse. The street lights were on. 
fine, I'm an alcoholic, psycho stress. These guys are kicked out of the police station. They leave. And then I tell my friends, I ask um, the police that, can I have something to drink? Can I have water? And this lady brings me some water. And I'm like, the lady says, you know what? You need to wait a bit because I don't trust these guys, right? You need to wait a bit. And um, afterwards, try to use a different route and go home. This time, go home. He, she's asking, where were you guys going? We're, we're saying, we're going to drop our, um, my other friend. We are lying now. We're going to drop that my other friend before we're going home and stuff like that. So this lady is saying, now you're not going to drop this guy. You're going home. You're going straight. You're driving now. You're going home. You're going to sleep. And I'm like, yes, we're going to do that. Then we drive off. And then I'm so scared driving off. Now I'm, I'm a little bit sober. We go straight. I'm like... The other friend is asking, are we still going to, 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 to Hillbro? I'm saying, friend, I'm not going to Hillbro because it's dangerous. It is dangerous. I don't want to go to Hillbro. If these guys see us again, I think they're going to injure us or something like that. They, may, they might kill us or something. Because they saw that these three gay guys and it doesn't look like they've got guns. It doesn't look like they are harmful. They would harm us. We can do whatever we want. So we drive. We go to my friend's place and then i park the car next door where there is like gate and stuff like that then i go to my friend and then we we sleep the following day we tell the the actual um the the, the lady who owns the place my friend is is renting in fuleni all right the lady says can you describe the people or describe the car describe everything about them then we describe and the lady was like, you are actually getting hijacked. Those guys are hijackers and they are notorious hijackers. They, you were lucky that you were not killed on the spot and your car is gone. You were actually 100% like at that time I was like oh my gosh my god was on my side and my ancestors were actually protecting me because if this lady is so shocked that we made it alive if this lady is this shocked I was like up almost here getting shot in full and because of a volvo 2002 model <laughs> like yo then the following day after the whole sh shebang um normally we normally go to rents during the day and then i would drive back home but that day i was like chomi i'm not going anywhere i'm not going anywhere i'm going to 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 bath then after bathing i'm going straight back to my place I am done with Mfuleni. Well, I was not done. I was just shocked at that time. I am done with Mfuleni. A couple of days later, the call comes in. These guys are calling because obviously they got my number. When we were doing all the commotion, I gave them my number that they must call me so that we can arrange the court and stuff like that and lawyers and whatever. I call this guy says, you know what? We don't have to actually go to court. I went to... I went to the mechanic and the mechanic said, you must pay 6,000 rands for my bumper that you damaged. I said, you know what? I'm not paying a cent. You need to pay me what is due for me. You need to pay me, not not other way around. I'm not doing that. You can do what you can do right now. Please do get in touch with your lawyer. At that time, I spoke to my lawyer on my side. I spoke to my lawyer on my side. I said, you speak to your lawyer. I spoke to my lawyer and my lawyer said, ah, just chill, just chill. Um, rest in peace because my lawyer, my, my then lawyer actually um, died, unfortunately. But anyway, he said, just chill. Okay, cool. Um, this guy, after I, I told him shit on over the phone, this guy disappeared. Till today, I don't know them. Obviously, we also sold the Volvo because no one was driving it at that time i drove it because i don't know why i was like driving it that day i was like you know what i'm gonna drive this car <laughs> but for what i have no clue so we had to sell it because it was just rotting there it was just sitting there so we sold it it's gone the bed luck is gone and i've been in full so many times there was nothing that happened so um touch wood i need i need to i it has to stay like that anyway tell me so tell me the battery decided to die on me i am actually recording on my cell phone right now so the quality might be different um, and also the quality of the mic might be different, but I wanted to say thank you so much for watching Please do subscribe and make sure that you hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next upload. Have a fantastic one. Peace out